Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Pinstar Plays Wingspan! Yes, today is Thursday and we are going right back into Wingspan. I'm, I'm gonna make this a regular thing. Um, so let's dive right in. Um, as for our settings on this particular custom game, hmm... I still like three opponents. I, I think that's a good balance. Um, let's go back to the let's go back to the main goal mat here. Um, at the, uh, the the ranked based goals that is. Uh, the other setting that we could toggle here is having a toggle between random order and custom order. Um, but I like I like random order uh, because you know I don't want to engineer myself going first every time that's uh, or or last or anything like that. So let's dive in. See if we can get our revenge on Red. See we're going last. That's just how the dice falls. And while that is not ideal, that's okay. I can deal with going last. Now, um, as far as uh, dealing dealing with. Um, things. Uh, let's see if we can actually have a hand here. Um, all right, I'm not as nauseous looking at this particular hand. Uh, and yes, that is how I would be describing my original one, is nausea-inducing. Um, I don't like Clark's Nutcracker only because it's so expensive right from the get-go and it requires two wheat. Uh, that said, the red-eyed Vero um, might be a smart, smart, smart might be a smart answer here because we can get pretty much we can grab one food and then play both birds if we had an egg. We you can't open with this particular set up here with the Vireo plus Nutcracker because the Nutcracker is going to require an egg and if you don't have any birds played at all you can't play any eggs and therefore can't buy the Nutcracker therefore wasting the Red-Eyed Vireo's action. I really don't want to skip the Red-Eyed Vireo because it is a really good bird. This is probably one of my favorite of the play a second bird cards. Um... What 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 does the wetlands have for us? Oh my god, the comet that's not gonna stay there for long. Ooh, but there's a barred owl. I would not mind a barred owl. A barred owl I would not mind a barred owl. Alright, um and just in the off chance that my opponents have a senior moment and don't grab that raven, um we definitely want a rat. Um, if for either the Barred Owl or the Raven. Um, so, let's do this. I still want the Vireo. I want a Rat. Um, I want a Berry to play the Vireo eventually. Um, I will take that. The Nutcracker. Not like in the Hooded Merganser. Uh, Cast and Sparrow is good but it's not great um actually it is pretty good but not in the opening hand like any any late like second round third round fourth round fantastic bird first round mm, not quite not quite this also it's going to depend on what i have uh for for my cards here let's grab that and then let's see what my bonuses are Birds with cluster nests or geography terms? Huh. Hmm. Well, we have a lot of cluster nests. The problem with the cluster nests here is that we... I mean, I could go Meadowlark uh, instead of Cassins. Yeah, that gives, that, that gives all other players an extra egg when I when I activate it but if we get that but I, again they're they're stacking it in the grasslands that's not ideal in the beginning of the game oh let's grab Cass and Sparrow um, I will put back Put back the berry. 
Do I even want the Vireo? Now the Vireo is not looking not looking all that hot. Because if I can if I can get the um, Barred Owl, then I'm good. Stellar's J is a as a backup, um, just to make sure I don't completely miss out on that. Um, Stellar's J's got the same same deal going with um, Clark's Nutcracker here. Um, now, do I take the Metal Lark just to start building this early? Like we can get a crazy egg engine here going, but again, eggs in the beginning of the game not not the smartest thing. Oh, and look at the look at the first round bonus. Oh, this is risky as all hell. Because I'm I'm either I'm depending on either scoring that raven unlikely or at least getting the owl and then getting the owl into something else. Um, and we're going to be at a loss for cards for a little bit. This is risky. This is real risky. But I don't have much else of a recourse. Oh, uh, no, I don't. That's too risky. No, I'm going to... Uh, let's, let's keep things interesting. I'm going to play risky, and then we will absolutely take the... Cluster Nest bonus card. We can go absolutely nuts with this card. Okay, let's see. Did they seriously leave me the Raven? They left me the Raven. Okay, when you see one of the Power Four, the Power Four being any of the Ravens, um, uh, Franklin's Gull, or the Killdeer, um, and you see them on there, you run, do not walk to the uh, to to that thing. Uh, to pick it up. I don't care if it is a blind action, you run to that thing and you get that raven. Ooh, and a turkey vulture. That's the perfect complement to a raven. I'm going to actually take another blind action here and grab that turkey vulture. Because then that gets the Raven food engine going and we can ignore the forest completely. Yeah, hiss at me all you want. You are key to my plan. Alright, so we can stick the turkey vulture... Actually, we can take... well, do I want to stick it up here? Actually, I want to keep it down the water, because we don't have any water birds right now. Um, so we're going to stick the turkey vulture right here. And whether or not... See, we're, we're, the reason I'm excited for this is not because of this power. This is not going to probably fire off very often, especially this early in the game. This, this bird will not pay off that early. What I am excited about is the fact that it has an egg slot that we can use to activate the raven without having to pay food for it. Turkey vulture. Turkey vultures can projectile vomit to defend themselves. And we can we we're already looking at us insanely strong field here. Like just stupidly strong. Uh, and I love it. We, we I'm going to show you the the uh, fully armed and operational raven here. We've completely gone off course here but uh in probably the best possible way common raven ravens are omnivores whose diet includes insects rodents eggs birds and carrion mm, canada goose hey eh? fair enough all right yeah so what well, here's the here's the reason why we needed that so we go here we lay eggs on birds we go down here we lay an egg on the turkey vulture it hisses at me we lay the other egg here on the raven. Now we activate the raven. The raven has to take an egg from a different bird. Raven can't eat its own egg. It has to go from a different bird. That's why we needed the vulture. We take the thing. It hisses. Uh, and now we get to pick any two things from the supply. Like, oh, I don't know. How about a worm and a wheat? And now we have our next. Uh, uh, we have our next thing to activate. This is insane already. This 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 is going to get disgust very disgusting very quickly. Uh, we'll go with the the selfish one first. 
And yeah, we have the extra egg, so we spend it from the raven, and there we go. John Casson died from years of handling arsenic preserved birds. All right, we're gonna need. We're only gonna be able to get eggs on this on one bird here, but that might be enough for us to take something. Because round one bonuses are, so a lot of times, though, that just goes zero, 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 zero across the board. So I ain't going to complain. All right, so we can get one one egg here. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll lay uh, one on ha Mr. Happy here and one on the uh, Raven here. Activate this, get a bonus egg. Um, We'll put it on the Raven, why not? Um, and then we will eat, uh, that bird is going to hiss at me at least 17 times this game. Uh, and once again, a worm and a wheat. Okay, yeah, only one turn left, and unfortunately, if we had one more turn, we could do one more round of laying to get eggs on this bird, but that's okay. Um, we'll still get one point, so we'll be in the running for something for the first round bonus. Let's spin that from the Raven. Western Meadowlark. This pretty bird also has a beautiful flute-like song. All right, so we tie we tie for it, so we share the bonus two points. That's okay. Now I do want more egg capacity on the cluster nests. Um, birds in forest. We're also going to need to go hunting there. Um, yeah, we want also black turns a black turns a great one because that's a that's a that's a, that's a that that's a thing that is a thing with the stuff. Um, Indigo bunting, not so much, uh, but black turns, fantastic. So we're gonna go here. Uh, I will burn an egg um, too, because we're 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 bursting with. Actually, no, I don't want to burn that egg. No, 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 no! Stop, 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 stop. I want to burn an egg, but I want to burn the one from the cast and sparrow, so we have room to lay onto it. Now I'm gonna grab the black turn and I'm gonna go blind. The fish crow. That's fantastic. Um, that's that's pretty crazy. I mean, not not as fantastic as the common raven. Let's be very honest here, but I'll take it. But I'm more interested in the black turn. Ooh, free food. Um, ooh, can I get? I can get exactly what I want to play the turn. So we'll take the worm. Thank you. That makes my uh, actions a little bit more efficient. Um, still not, um, still not, not rocking out the. Um, I, we might not even be in contention for the forest one. Oh my God, the Avusay! The Avusay is in play. We can go hyper cluster nests here. Like we can really go hyper cluster nests here. Um, right then. Let's play the turn. We have a spare egg, yes? Yes, we do. Black turn. These turns build floating nests out of marsh. Alright, nobody take that out of say. We're we're going full cluster nest. Okay, we're good. Alright, we we want the uh, even though we you know, we still have you know, stuff that we need to do. I want to grab the Evuse before it gets taken. So I'll go there and do one blind hummingbird. Actually, that's not bad. One of any food and it's worth four points, even if I never activate it. It's it's the perfect thing. Um, oh yeah, we can draw and discard. Um, let's go searching. Pelican. Ooh. Yes. Please and thank you. Um, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to toss back the uh, fish crow. Fish crows no longer uh, interesting me. Okay, okay, all right. I'm good on cards for a while. Free food. Um, no fish. Um, but I will take the worm.
Okay. Um, we can slap down Anna's hunting hummingbird in the forest if we want to with that worm. Um, but we don't have to. I mean, we, we, we have four turns to slap it down to maybe put one bird out there for some form of contention. I'm not holding my breath on that, that bonus here. Um, I don't think we need to... Alright, so we're going to get two food out of this deal. Um, the American Avusay... We could get the American Avusay um, played... And then that would give that would start generating us some free eggs, which would be fantastic. Um, and yeah, I do think we're actually going to get this, like the 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 seven point version of this, because the pelicans also got that, even though it's only got one um, one egg of that type. All right, so yeah, let's do that. So we're not going to burn a food because we're going to use the food. Uh, where do we want these eggs? Doesn't particularly matter. Um, actually, it does kind of matter because we want to we want to keep the eggs off of these nests because these nests are going to be uh, filled by freebies. Um, yes, they. Two eggs on birds with that nest. There we go. Beautiful. Um, and then you... You can lay another egg on you. Um, and then, yeah, we can eat this one. We'll give Mr. Hissy Fit a... Uh, uh, a break here. Alright, so those two will be enough for the Abusay. I love it when a plan comes together. Now, one other thing that we're going to want to keep an eye out for. How many eggs? Only two eggs on the hummingbird. Wrong type, but more capacity is always welcome. Um, but yeah, let's get that Abusay down first. And we will spend it from the meadow lark here. American avocet. American avocets build their own nests, but also parasitize. Ooh, other and nests. there's my freebie. Um, since it's not that, we'll just take the uh, just take the berry and probably use that for the hummingbird. He's got two turns for that. Yeah, that's probably the smartest move here. We we drop the hummingbird. Anna's hummingbird. These birds' impressive mating displays involve diving from over 100 feet in the air. Because then the last turn we're going to lay some eggs. And um, we'll have some extra room for all that. So we will plop two eggs on Anna's hummingbird here. Um... Yeah, that's all. That's all the others. So we'll put one more on you. Um, so one more onto you. One more onto you. Um, discard, and we will discard from you. And pick up a pair of fish. Thus is the power of the raven. All right, second, tied for second place. We salvaged a point out of that, and that's fine by me. All right, let's see what we got here. Well, what's the wetlands? Anything good? Belted Kingfisher. Ooh. Um, not so much for the... Oh, and the Spotted Tahi, too. Again, not so much for the... Uh, the abilities. Not don't really care about the abilities there. But I do care about um hmm, Cooper's Hawk actually is pretty darn good too. I could I want all three of those guns, find it. Hmm. 
Hmm. What uh, what does the all right, there's no fish on the uh, on that, so I'd have to go and take another eggs action before I play my pelican. Hmm. It seems crazy, but I might want to do this without playing the pelican. Although, hmm. yeah, because then I then I would absolutely be able to grab these. Um, because I've got four birds, and I just need two more. I've got. So this is going to be three. So you know what? I can I can wait the turn. I can wait one one extra turn. So we will we will play the uh, the pelican here. Oh yeah, we need two eggs now, which is actually quite fine. American white pelican. Pelicans work together to herd fish and then scoop them up. Now all I need is like a finisher, like that bird that lays an egg in every cluster nest that you have, and then we would just pepper the entire place with that, and it would be glorious. Okay, still have all of my uh, birds uh, on hand here. Um, like I said, I like the belted kingfisher. It's star nest with four eggs. Fantastic. Um... There's also that eggs in wetlands um, one here. That's also going to help us out with eggs in um, these nests. So, yeah, I think that's the smart move here. Well, actually, no, no, we're gonna we're gonna we're we're gonna make use of the white pelican first. Cons find it. All right, so um, I want to put one egg on the turn just to help with that. Um, yeah, we got you full up. Um, we'll put one on the Avusay. Put one on the Pelican. Put one on you. Lay an egg on any bird. Put one on you. And then we shall eat an egg. I'll call it from the metal lark. All right, so we want a fish. Um, do we want two fish? I think we want two fish. Now, what are you hissing about? I've left your eggs alone for now. All right, free eggs. This is why we need. This is why I've been aggressively taking eggs off of the cluster nest birds because I know we're gonna need the room. Okay, now if we do, all right, the the birds are still here, so that works out for me. Um, yeah, belted kingfisher. Um, go Cooper's hawk. We'll go for you, swallow, eh? Uh, yes, I want to tuck one behind, and yeah, let's let's toss. Draw a card if you do discard a card. Ah, uh, the tau the tahi is talking to me. It's yeah, it's worth only zero points, but it's super cheap to play. Um, and well, although we don't really need it. Because this, we're already at five birds. The star nest will be six. So no, let's let's see. Robin, uh, tuck and draw. It's got egg slots. Good enough. Um, it's got more egg slots than the swallow, and it's cheaper. Oh, could have used that warbler. And free eggs. Gotta keep making room for them. Now here's the question. Am I gonna... I, I, I might be so burstingly full of eggs here. 
I was kind of hoping somebody would trigger my my other guy so that I could play the Kingfisher. Um, because I can't play the Robin off of the type of food that I've got. Oh, but I can... no, I don't want to spend the food to lay the extra egg here. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately we're going to get the extra egg. So you know what, I think I'm going to not activate the Meadowlark and just activate the Sparrow. Actually, am I, am I so full of eggs that I can't really take proper actions now? I think I am. I am so burstingly full of eggs. Um, so what do we do then? Um, I think, I think we actually take, take a food action as crazy as that sounds. Um, because otherwise it, the, the, the weight, the amount of waste from just taking the other action is no bueno. Um, so, um, you know, we could, the Kingfisher is, could be anything, so we could sacrifice either the Hawk or the Robin. Um, you know, I'm going to sacrifice the Robin. So we can get two food. Uh, we will take the Rat. Um, and then it really doesn't matter what the other thing we take. We'll take a, we'll take the berry. Um, do I want to give everybody one from the bird feeder? Oh, I'm feeling nice. Um, let's start you with you so that I get a fresh roll. Ah, no fish. I'd, I'd want to stock up on fish if I could. Uh, fine, we'll go rat. Alright, more, more avousay. Alright, I think... I think the correct answer here is uh, Kingfisher to lay eggs. Or if I get a uh, an Avuse freebie, um, I can drop a drop the um, yeah. But yeah, Kingfisher to Avuse. Um, all right, let's make some room here. We we need to make some room. Um, We'll make the room on the metal lark. Belted kingfisher. A kingfisher burrow can go up to six feet into a riverbank and slopes to shed water. All right, no freebie, which is unfortunate because now I need to take the extra. Now I need to take the extra action. Unless they take their turns and then it calculates, but even even then wouldn't uh, it wouldn't play out that way. So I've got four eggs open. Four, and then I get one, two, so I could fully fill this up. That's still going to be rather tough. What's the um, what are we looking at here? All right, so they're unlikely to surge ahead of me, so I don't need to go crazy with those nests. So we can we can play the Cooper's Hawk here. Oops. Oh, yeah, duh. Um, and then we will um, take another one off the Meadowlark. Cooper's Hawk. Cooper's Hawks hunt forest birds and mammals with great stealth. There we go. As long as we're on top, we get the we get the big bucks. Alright, now eggs in wetlands. Ooh, freebie food, I'll take it. Um wish it was fish, but it's not, but that's okay. 
Yeah, we'll go rat. Just in case there's something like a golden eagle out there. Alright, five turns left. Let's see what we can pull off here. Um, California quail. California quail. My god, even more egg factory here. Jeebus. Um, yeah, that's a California quail. Now, um, I would like to get the food. I would like, I'd like to get more food so that I can trigger the white pelican again. Unfortunately, we didn't get the uh, kingfisher turn here. That's okay. Um, now we have room. I am not going to buy the extra egg. Although I could now. I legitimately could now. But I'm not. Yeah, I'll buy the extra food. Alright, so we go up here, we drop eggs on the Cooper's Hawk, we go down here, we drop eggs on the Kingfisher. Yes. Lay egg on you, lay egg on you. Select extra birds for extra eggs, you get the extra egg. Discard an egg. Um, okay, we want fish, um, but then we are also looking at that quail, um, two wheat and a worm. So we'll go for a, uh, a wheat here. Ah, uh, they grabbed the quail. I I was afraid of that. Well, we got the free fish now. And why have the two all players draw from the decks appeared here? That's obnoxious, to say the least. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna go digging. We're gonna go digging deep in the deck. See, because nothing on the face-ups um, fancies me right now. They're, I mean, they're all water birds. We literally can't take them. So we are going to burn an egg. So we are literally swimming in eggs. Hmm. Tuck a card. Lay an egg. Okay, okay. All right, you're talking my language. Great Horned Owl. I wish I hadn't have burned that rat. Uh, Bedrick's Wren. No, you suck. Uh, Swanson Hawk. Not your. I, I can get behind you. Yes, I would like to draw and tuck. Draw another card. Don't mind if I do. Common Loon. No, useless. Can't play it in the water. So you will get tossed back. All right. Well, we have. Stuff to work with. I, I do kind of like the. Um, I mean, we can play like one of them, essentially. <laughs> uh, what has the biggest egg capacity? The Brewer's Blackbird. Uh, and we can play the Brewer's Blackbird, like right now. Alright, you know what? Brewer's Blackbird is gonna is gonna be our last play here. Um, and yeah, I don't want to burn any eggs from the water here, so we will burn these two eggs. Brewer's Blackbird. Brewer was a prominent 19th century ornithologist and eulogist. And now we just take two lay eggs actions? Maybe? Like, we are, we are going to be still bursting at the seams with eggs here. But, I mean, this is this is about as good as we can get as far as plays go. Oh, no, we can activate the Common Raven. And now I really wish I was saving that. We could do Swayson's Hawk. Um, 
Because, yeah, at that point... Well, no, we could play something in the forest and it cost us less. But, no, that still costs us more. I'd love to play the Great Horned Owl. You know what? I'm going to make a try for the Great Horned Owl because if we get um, if we get a lucky um, thing, we can we can Great Horned Owl on the last turn. Okay, so we're only going to activate this one more time. So we're going to put two eggs on here. This will this they'll get the freebie. Um, our water zone is completely full. Our forest is full. Uh, Meadow lark. Sparrow. Yes, I would like to uh, tuck a card. And we'll tuck the wren because it sucks. Yes. Lay on you. Lay on you. Literally full, but we are going to discard one. Um, actually, I do want to discard from one of these um, in case we get um, the once between turn. Double rat. And now we pray for a freebie food. All right, well, there's the Abu Say. Damn! Damn! One more freebie food, regardless of what it was, because we could combine it with this, would give us the great horned owl that we could, you know, we could just sneak up in the, into the forest. Damn! I should have burned the, the uh, fish instead of the uh, rat. Oh well. Uh, Swayson's hawk is about as good as we're going to get, because we, I mean, we could take another lay eggs action, but that ain't going to do anything for us, so we, we, uh, we take this. Uh, it's worth three points, essentially, at the end of the day. Um, and then, yeah, Brewers, it doesn't really, as long as we don't take it out of the water. That's, that's the big no-no. So we'll take it from the Blackbird here. Actually, no, 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 no. Because the Abu Say might, um, might fire off, so we take it from the Meadowlark. Swainson's Hawk. These hawks feed chicks, small mammals, and birds. But Ten eggs! Bam! Eggs. Maximum bonus. Alright, let's see how we did. I, I I think we're pretty good on this one. That could have been so much better. Yeah, we got the we got the full bonus on that. End of round goals, did well on that. We've got full 25 points of, 23 points of eggs. I should have, I, actually, I, had I not played those two, that bird, I would have had, I would have gotten two achievements for having a full thing of eggs and 25 eggs. But still, 96, not bad. Not bad at all. And that's the power of the raven, honestly. Because we, it allowed us to completely ignore the forest, essentially. Um, so yeah, that uh, that is the power five uh, or power four right there. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya.